Hello everyone, welcome back to the IST Simulations Office here in Mitchell Dever uh, in Hampshire and to the production version of Phone Simulator. It's finally got its lovely bulletproof case, which has got wheels on it and ooh, a handle that comes out the top to enable you to wheel it around or take it on the train or put it in the boot of a car and take it to where it needs to go. So I thought I'd do a little uh, unboxing video just so that you can see what it's like uh, when you get it and what you can expect. Uh, and how it works a little bit. So we'll open up the little case. There we go, you get a lovely instruction manual. Very simple, just two sides. A bit of foam. This is the instructor's laptop, which lives in the top. We'll just put that there. Uh, these are all the wires to plug it together. So there's a set of headphones for the assessor for when they want to uh, listen in and monitor calls. There's a power cable for plugging it into the mains. Whoops. So I'll plug that in. in there. There's a network lead for the assessor's laptop. And a power lead for the assessor's laptop. I'll just plug those in. Power lead into there. Network cable. Uh, headset's just a USB headset. So we'll just plug that in to the USB get that turned on and fired up. Then you take this foam tray out, put that to one side. And here are all the telephones uh, required in the foam simulator. And one case can hold up to 12 telephones. If you have fewer than 12 telephones, you'll get the same case, but with fewer handsets in it. Although we are currently waiting delivery of a smaller case that will take six handsets, so that if you have up to six handsets, you'll get a slightly smaller case. So I'll just stand all these up in their uh, little cradles. And it doesn't matter which phone goes in which cradle, they're just for charging. And they'll all beep and buzz as they come to life, so don't be alarmed. And in the bottom of this case, there's a computer that's firing up at the moment to deal with all the phone call routing and recording and stuff. So as that comes to life, don't be alarmed if you see sort of error messages on the screens here. It'll all, it'll all come to life uh, over the course of a minute or two. So while that's coming to life, we'll just have a look at the assessor's laptop. I'll just move the headphones out of the way. There'll be a icon on the desktop called Phone Sim. That's the phone simulator program. So I'll just open it up. I'll open up and I'll just maximize it so that you can see it properly. And for each handset, there's a uh, square on the screen. And each handset has a number from 101 to 112. So this is 105. But each handset also has another number. For example, this one is made to look like a BT number, a 020 BT number. This one's made to look like a mobile number, and this one's made to look like a railway number. So for tabletop exercises and things like that, it might be quite nice if the mom has a number that looks like a mobile number and the uh, control has a number that looks like a railway number, for example. But you can get through to this extension by either dialing 104 or dialing the railway number. So I'll just give that a try, 104. Phone will ring, and it's just green button to answer, just like on a mobile. And now these two handsets are connected to each other. Just to show that it does work, I'll also try and dial 08516850. And it comes through to the same uh, handset, but uh, using the railway-esque uh, number. Now on the assessor's laptop, while that call is taking place, I'll just dial the call again. You'll see that while it's ringing, the handset that's ringing flashes and the one that dialed and is already in the call has gone green. And then when I answer, they'll both go green and the assessor can then see that both of those participants are in a call. And of course, the participants might be in different rooms around the building. They might not all be around the same table. So this is useful for the instructor uh, to see that. And if uh, the candidates are in different rooms and the instructor wants to listen in, that's why they've got their headphones. So in the active calls list on the left hand side, we've only got one active call, but that is the one we want to listen to. We'll select the call we want to listen to, and then down at the bottom, we'll press monitor call. And now the conversation that's taking place between these two handsets can be heard through the headphones here. And there is a microphone on the uh, headset as well. So if the assessor wants to talk in the call, they can do. Or on the wire here, there's a mute button. So if they don't want it to be known that they're listening in and they don't want to say anything, they can just mute themselves. And then the two participants in this call won't even know uh, that the instructor's listening in. When the instructor's finished listening in, they can press the stop monitoring button. 
and then they uh, can either go on to monitor a different call or they won't be listening to that one anymore. And when the call itself actually ends, the screen will go back to grey and the handsets will go back to ready. All the while all this is going on, all the calls are being recorded so that they can be used for evidence of competence decision making or reviewing of safety critical comms performance as part of the exercise. So on the right hand side of the uh, monitor here is the call recordings list and it's the uh, 11th of January today so we'll extend the 11th of January and there's all the calls that we've taken place today. If I click on one of them and then down the bottom I press play and I can either play it back through the uh, headset speakers or through the laptop speakers. So it's a very simple system. It's available with anything from two to 12 handsets, or if you have more than 12, you'll have more than one case and a wire to connect them together. Uh, you can phone any extension in any order and multiple calls can take place at the same time. And everything is recorded on the laptop uh, and can be downloaded and kept if required. I'll show you how to put it all away again now, just so that you've seen it all in reverse. The first thing is we recommend that you switch these handsets off when you put it away, just by pressing the red button and holding it in for a few seconds. And that's just because if you were to put it away with the uh, handset still alive, the battery will gradually drain and then you'll have to charge it back up again when you next want to use it. And to do that many times over doesn't do any good uh, for the battery life. So it's best to switch them off and then when you next come to use it, just the action of putting them in the charger will switch them back on again. So I've switched those all off. I'll shut down the program on the uh, instructor's laptop, just with a cross in the top corner, just like any other Windows program. And then normal window shut down using the start menu. Shut down, and that'll shut down by itself. I need to get my cable lid back. And uh, there is a right way around and a wrong way around to this. You'll see it's got a, a groove cut out of the back here for the cables to go in, and that goes furthest away from you where all the cables are. So it avoids crushing the cables. We'll unplug all these ooh, cables. We'll unplug it from the mains. And then all the cables go in here nice and neatly. Whoops. Twirl them all up. There we go, headphones. And if you just make sure it's all nice and flat so nothing gets crushed when you put the lid on. The instructor's laptop sits on top. Whoops. There we go. Bit of foam. Instruction manual, just in case you get stuck, lists everything that I've just said in this video. And on the back is how the software works, which again we looked at in the video. Ooh. Close up, ready to go. So thank you so much to everybody who's given us feedback on the development of Phone Simulator. Uh, these are now in use in a number of no locations in Network Rail Wales and Network Rail Southern. If you'd like more information about Phone Simulator, please either see our website or get in contact with us by phone or email. We'll be delighted to discuss it with you. Thank you very much.